in this lecture we are going to talk about area plot so i have added another file with the area data so you can have this it's attached to this lecture now when you come to the area you can make simple area you can make multiple area plots you can also have vertical so it just flipped and then also multiple flipped and then you can also have complex area so let's just start with a sing simple area now with a simple area you can choose your x y pair so i have yes so from 1950 to i think 2018 and then you have renewable energy resources from hydro biomass wind solar geothermal and you can also go with single y so that one doesn't choose it just gives you a random x and then the y's are plotted from your data set but we'll go with x y so let's choose x as year and then let's choose y as hydro and head to finish so we have something like this and we can customize it with the stuff that we we studied in the previous section so let's just double click and you can change the graph or you can modify the graph like the legion the grid and all and you can also change the axis from this section as we've already shown but for the most important part is the data so sorry is the plot you can come in and change the data end and you can also add symbols so at the moment there are no symbols so you're not seeing the data but let's say we want to add this now we can see the symbol and we can customize it as we've already shown maybe add color and change some of these stuff and then we can also come into the lines and we can add a line so the line is not showing because it's gray and the uh, area fill is also gray so let's go for let's say blue and then you can change the type if you need you can change the thickness you can even add a gap let's go for this to fill the gap and then you can go for let's say spleen so it becomes nicer so you can play along with this as well and then you can come into area fill so this is going to customize the area and at the moment it's green so you can go for let's say pink and then you can choose pattern so let's play along you can choose whatever that you need in here As well so you can choose your pattern you can change the direction so let's say if you this is down so if you want to take it up it points up left or right but we'll stick with down and you can change the end color you can also identify intersections if if you have we don't have that and you can edit the transparency the gradient and all that so your graph looks nicer and now you can come to your reference lines and if you need it you can add it and also your drop lines which we've already shown so one thing that i forgot to show was this in the previous sections in when you come to this point you can change or you can edit plot so zigma plot sees this as plot one however you can close this right click and go to add new plot and it's going to see it as plot two and then you can also come into graph page and select the graph and then go to add plot and it's going to add a new one so let's just try 
let's go to area plot and then sample area and then let's go for xy this time let's go for let's say wind and head to finish so we've added another one to it now when we come into the properties we see plot 2 and you can come to plot 1 so let's say we want to change the area fill okay now whatever changes that we make is for plot 1 if we head over to plot 2 whatever changes that we make is going to affect this as plot 2 so that is also something cool to note and you can add let's say a different pattern and then you can go to lines and maybe make this solid maybe instead of gray let's make this let's make this another blue and then make it a little thicker change this to spleen as well yeah so that's that's something i wanted to show you can come to scaling and also change this to your x and change this to let's say 1950 and then 18 so you have it nicely and you can edit it and customize it to be a nice area plot so that is something that i forgot to show previously so for instance we did multiple you can use this as your first plot and then use this as your second plot as well so that is basically it um let's try more you can also do multiple by itself you can come in and then go to x y sorry let's go for x many y because that's what we have we have one x for many y's we don't have let's say this x is for this y then another x for another y so let's do this and then let's choose this so for multiple let's go for all of it let's go for all of it in the y's and hit finish so now you have multiple of them together and this is very basic in terms of customization so you would want to edit that what you do is let's come to the let's start with the scaling let's choose the y no let's go for x and choose this to 50 and then choose this to 1 8 and then let's come to this side so let's start with and then the area you see that it chose a color scheme for us so the color scheme is chosen you can come in if you choose a single color it's going to affect all of it so if you want multiple colors you can come into color schemes and you can choose whichever one that you need over here so grayscale is selected you can come in and choose whichever one that you need as well and let's say if you choose let's say ocean you can drop it down and then choose which one should be the first color and all so that is also something interesting to note and that also applies for the previous section that we did so you can come in and just choose color scheme itself so let's choose let's say heavenly hit ok and we have this and we can play along we can add let's say patterns to it and edit this nicely and we can come back to let's say lines and make it thicker so for the lines you can also use a color scheme as well so you can come in and then i think we used heavenly so let's just use the same 
and you can have those lines but sometimes you want the lines to show differently so you can let's say just stick with one color something like that and you can just play along with this so the difference is once you plot multiple many of the changes that you make affects the whole plot because Zygma plot sees this as one plot compared to if you plot it one at a time and you have many plots and you can change each one separately however you can also just come in and then select specific ones and then you can change how they look as well so you can you can let's say select this one and then let's say we go for lines let's choose different lines so the line change for this one you can right click again and then you can choose let's say red and a change for that so the same way you can also right click in an area and then you can modify some of the stuff in here change the fill color change the patterns and all that so that is something useful to to do and i recommend that you just come in and play along with it so the same way we had this pointing up you can also choose these for vertical so it's gonna point this way as well so that is basically it for area plot and you can always come in and customize your graph to make it very nice as we've already done